Hello, this is Mark Sabatella from Outside Shore Music, home of Mastering MuseScore. In this week's tip, I want to show you how MuseScore can warn you if the notes you're writing are out of range for the instrument you're writing for. And by out of range, I mean if they're too high or too low to be played comfortably. So I have a score here that was originally written for choir, SATB, and the highest note was C5. The highest note for the soprano, C5, that's the C on the staff. And I'm trying to score it here for brass, and I'm going to try to give this line two horns. And if you'll look at this, you'll see the highest note is written as a G. Well, that's because horns are transposing instruments. They sound a fifth higher than written. If I go ahead and click the concert pitch button, I'll see that that really is a C. So uh, I'll just go ahead and leave it in concert pitch mode for the moment. Uh, but you'll notice that that C is colored kind of a dark yellow, olive green kind of color. This is how MuseScore tells me that that note is kind of out of range for at least for amateur or younger players. It's not impossible to play, but it's hard to play. And when we listen to it, right, those are kind of high notes, and and you might uh, you, they may or may not successfully play those notes. The people you're asking, so uh, they're colored just to give you that warning. They're, this is only a warning on screen. It's not going to print that way. It's not going to export to PDF that way. It's not going to show that way if you upload it to MuseScore.com. It's just a warning for your own uh, benefit while writing. And so that olive green kind of dark yellow color is to tell you that, well, it's playable by good enough players, but uh, you might want to be careful. On the other hand, if I take that first C here, and uh, actually, let me just take this A here, and I'm just going to raise it up an octave. Now, that note is really uh, not going to be easy to play at all. I mean, hardly anyone in the world can play that note. I might be exaggerating slightly, but you definitely don't want to write that note for orchestra. And when I turn off concert pitch, you'll see it's actually quite high. So MuseScore colors those notes red. That's how it tells you this note is not just out of an amateur range, but it's even out of most professional ranges as well. So uh, then you can sort of decide, you know, okay, maybe these yellow notes I'm going to leave alone, but gee, that red note, I can't, I, I, I got to fix that one and, and change the parts or do whatever you need to do to fix it. So that's what the warnings are for. They're really useful. If you decide that, you know, I like the idea of the warnings, but I wish I could change exactly where they happen. Like, I don't want this C to, to give me a warning. If, if you've just accepted, you know you're writing for a group that can that they can handle that concert C, the written G, and you just want to customize when the, where the cutoff is, we can do that. We can right-click the staff, go to Staff, Part, Properties, and then you'll see the amateur and professional ranges here. The amateur range you'll see stops at A4, which is the A on the staff. If I want it to go up to the C on the staff, which is C5, I can just click the little edit icon here and then select C5 as my upper uh, end of that range. And uh, when I hit OK now, we'll see those notes the C and the B there are no longer indicated as out of an amateur's range because we've changed that range. While meanwhile, this A is still uh, highlighted in red because it's definitely still outside the professional range. So I could take it down an octave back where it really belongs to fix that. Now, if you just don't ever want to see these warnings at all, uh, you can just turn them off. You can go to Edit, preferences, and then under note input, you'll see an option that says color notes outside of usable pitch range. If you turn that option off and hit OK, uh, you'll notice that notes that were already colored remain colored for now, but if I take a note and move it up an octave, it's not affected, and also uh, those notes here uh, stop being colored. So it's just like a temporary it doesn't take effect right away, but it does uh, pretty soon. Uh, so now I'm not seeing any of those warnings at all. So that's uh, how you can use these range warnings that MuseScore gives you to help you know when you're writing notes that are too high or too low for the instruments you're writing for.